morning. Thank you for joining me. And today is Tuesday. Hey, did you know that there are five Tuesdays in the month of November? Well, I did not know that, so I do apologize those that received the package. Um, I did only pack for four. I do apologize. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I guess I just miscounted. I do know for January that there are five Tuesdays in January, so those packages are all packed up, and I only have four left. So hopefully you'll um, uh, join me for the January Takeaway Tuesdays. Um, we're going to be using some great, great stamp sets and dies on that. But anyways, I do apologize to those that received the package for November. I don't know what was up, but... Uh, Anyways, I have something that we are going to create. What you want is a kind of a dark color cardstock, and I'm going to be using Mary Merlot. So if you want to grab um, a cardstock or something, uh, this is four by five and one quarter, and you will need some clear embossing powder. Okay, so this is just a little tip. When you look at your packages of embossing powder, Make sure you read very carefully whether that it says clear embossing powder. I tried this three times and I heat embossed with a uh, heat and stick and then I heat embossed with uh, something else that I thought was clear and it was not. So just read the labels. Better yet, put a big um, C in Sharpie on the top of your label so that you can not mix them up like I did. Anyways, um, I have a lot going on today. I wanted to thank Regina for sending me this card. Look at that. It's really cute. So, oh, oh, hold on. I got to open it. There we go. Isn't it fantastic? She even decorated the inside. Look at that. And it's, it's embossed on the bottom. Very nice. Thank you very much, Regina, for sending me that. And, oh, I got this very cool card from my friend Janet. Um, it's using one of my favorite. It is a bottle of happiness, and I love it. I uh, love the green, and this is all on dimensionals. So, so pretty. I love this. I'm going to keep this, and I think I'm going to case it, um, which means I'm going to copy it. So I think it is absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't know. What have you been up to lately, the, this week? Um, comment below if you've been crafting or making Christmas cards and stuff like that. I have to show you, I was part of a, a sampler swap, which means you make the same um, uh, item nine times. I had to make uh, little squares nine times the same one. And then we got together for, for breakfast, and then we all traded. It was so much fun. And I have to show you my final product uh, from this sampler. It, uh, so I've already framed it. Oh, I know it's a little glary, but... So let me try. So there we go. Very, very cute. Uh, this whoop, this one is mine uh, the, with the polar bears. I'll try and take a better picture. It's a little bit of a glare, but it looks fantastic once it's all framed up and everything. It was uh, it was great. And, and uh, opposed to a card swap, um, it becomes a piece of art. It was It's absolutely beautiful. Now I have another one that I have to still finish up, but it's still in the works. But I will show you that too when it's done. Don't forget, uh, the retired sale and the clearance section will be updated December the 1st from the J July to December mini catalog. Make sure you got your list ready. I've uh, posted above uh, the link for my shopping cart if you'd like to order anything. There's still some great stuff, but please note it is while supplies last. A lot of the the papers, the embellishments just fly off the rack. So just, just to let you know um, if you want to get anything from there. Um, see, that's that. Oh, if you're going to order online uh, from my store, I have decided that I am going to send out um, anybody that orders with me in the month of December, I'm going to place together a little sampler pack of retire of DSP. Now, uh, some of it or a lot of it is retired, but you're going to get at least 40 plus pieces 
and I'll pop this in the mail if you place an order with me. I have a DSP that I just am itching to, to, to send to somebody. So hopefully, I place an order and I'll pop that in the mail. Okay. Uh, one more thing, let's see. Oh, I have decided we all need some ideas. Sometimes by the end of the season, you get kind of, you know, uh, filled up with idea uh ideas and you just don't know what to make so what I'm going to do is in the next coming um, newsletters for December I'm going to pop in a PDF tutorial um, for a few cards and all you do is you click that tutorial and you'll have a bunch of cards that you can create and I've decided I'm going to do that in December on some of the Saturdays so make sure you sign up on the newsletter link above and uh, just to let you know okay um, Takeaway Tuesdays for December will be packages. All right, you're going to be using your own designer series paper. Get up all those packet, all those papers together, and we are going to create and get rid of all of those DSPs that you have hanging around. This is a great way to uh, make packages for Christmas and use up all of your DSP. So, don't forget that. Use your, your own stock. I will show you how to make packages in the month of December. Okay? Mini catalog and celebration coming up. Let me know if you want a catalog. I'll pop it in the mail. All right. Whew. That's a lot of talking. So, if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to move you onto the camera mount. I have some new uh, mats that I, I'm going to try out so let's give it a try and hopefully there's not too much glare if there is please comment and I will um, take it away so that we can continue don't forget have a stamp set uh, you want one with images all right so I'm going to use Christmas season I love 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 this set and I think it's going to be in forever in my box because you know pine cones never go out of season right so Make sure you have that, your embossing, your Versamark, and yeah, I think that's it. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to make some cards, all right? Let's get going. Now, I've learned my lesson not to scare the camera too much. All right, ready? Let's go. Come on, come this way. All right, ready? One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's not too much glare on that. That's fantastic. This is a new kind of mat I have. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to put that right there so there's no glare in the corner. Northern Stamper, if you want to reach me, uh, northernstamper at gmail.com. My name is Tina Kavergich. Name you can't say. Just call me Tina or Northern Stamper, easiest way. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm going to leave this in the corner because there's a little bit of a glare and that was the stuff I was mentioning. Let's pop that underneath. All right. I am ready to make a card. All right. There we go. Okay. What we need is um, I got my card base and I have my cardstock. And I chose to use the darker cardstock because I find that it's going to look really, really cool. Um, you won't see it too much on the lighter cardstock like. Uh, blushing bride or something like that so I want to use the darker cardstock hey look I'm pool party today okay so this is the card base pretty simple on that right there we go make sure there's no um, glare and what we're going to do this time I know not to stamp these images backwards all right we're gonna try and do that and not stamp them backwards all right if you joined me last time I don't know what happened, but uh, I guess I didn't pay too much attention, and I placed it on the block. So it's flat on one side. Oh, my goodness, it's dry. So that may not hold too well, but wet it a bit, and it will stick. So let's place it on the block. Ah, lovely. So there are two types. There is one that's a little bit more detailed and one that is not. So I'm going to put them both on a block because we're going to use that. And let's get some little ones on a block. Get them all ready, all set to go. Make sure they're not backwards. Oh, good morning from Alberta. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for joining me. 
And actually from this, I'm going to use some of these little funky little dots. I guess they're like snow, so let's try some of those. I'm going to put those on a little block. There we go. And all right, all we need is our Versamark. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm taking my Versamark, again, always starting with the largest image. I'm going to do some stamping. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, ah, because these are polymer stamps, I need something underneath. And my little uh, stamping mat is not close by, so I'm going to grab a catalog. Oh, I'm going to grab this. Okay. I'm going to grab this and stamp on it. Okay. Got to have some kind of cushion for underneath before I start. Oh, look at that. It's already not off the block. Let's lick that. Oh, no. all right. Let's try this. Let's try using some person mark. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, see, now I put it on backwards. Don't want to do that. Let's wipe away any of the dust that we have on our cardstock. And I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to stamp just random, totally random on this paper. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I've done some of the large ones. And I'm going to take the, the large one with a little bit more design to it and continue the stamping. So I want to have a variety of images on this. Okay, so I've done the large ones. Oh, that one didn't turn out too well. So I guess I'm going to put my sentiment right there. And I'm going to move to the smaller one. Make sure it's well stamped. Okay, and again, that's better. I'm going to put my pine cones on. Like I said, I'm going to put my sentiment kind of in the middle, so I'm going to kind of cover that up. Now let's get some little snowflakes going there. And in between, I'll place that in. Hopefully you can see. Can you see the images as they're coming through? I'll hold it up as soon as I'm done. There we go. A couple of snowflakes around. And it's okay if it falls off the page. All right. So there we go. I've got some. Can you see that? That is the sticky Versa mark. Okay. I'm going to close that up. So that has all of the, the Versa mark on, so it's going to hold the powder that I'm going to use next. Got my handy dandy Dairy Queen spoon. And I've been using this container for to hold my clear in. So double check clear and stamping embossing powder. Perfect. That's what it is. And let's get this guy on because I don't want my fingers on there. And I'm just going to dip it in. There we go. And we're going to move it around. We want to make sure there's a good bunch of embossing powder on. Now remember, this is clear embossing powder we're using. All right, so it won't come out white. Very technical here. There we go. Oops, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that you um, tap the back of the paper to make sure all of the powder comes off. So I'm going to take my spoon, Dairy Queen spoon, very technical, tap it, and I'm gonna look, is there any pieces that are um, not covered? Okay, they're all covered, lovely. What I'm gonna do next, move this out of the way because I don't want this to melt while I heat it up. I'm going to heat this with the embossing tool you're going to want to start your embossing tool because this cannot melt until it reaches a certain temperature. So you want your heat embossing tool to get warmed up and then start hitting uh, the paper and the powder. You can go a little bit on the back and go back and forth. Just keep your embossing 
to a moving, all right? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready for the noise, okay? All right, let's get going. As I said, it does take a bit of time for the heat embossing tool to reach a certain temperature. This may take a while. And there it goes. Woohoo! Look at it go. very easy to see as the clear turns embossing powder turns from that white powder to absolutely clear. You'll start to notice why I chose a darker color cardstock to do this technique on. So I have it all done now. Oh no! So you can see why I chose a darker color um, cardstock. So this would have not shown up as lovely on a lighter one. So it looks like tone on tone. And it looks like it's wet, doesn't it? So look, it's not. If you did use a lighter one, you could always use like your blending brushes and go over and do the, the heat, the resist on this. But just using this alone will actually look very lovely. So I want to really showcase off these, these pine cones. And that's why I, I'm going to keep the sentiment fairly uh, small and um, I want to showcase this and I'm going to grab some ribbon. So what we need to do next is get a little a bits of scrap paper. Uh, we can use white or very vanilla. Very vanilla might work actually a little better because it's not so stark. And what we want to do is grab some some ink. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab either Evening Evergreen and Mary Merlot. So let's go grab that and see which color that we like the best. Okay, there we go. Actually, I have Mossy Meadow at my fingertips and I am going to use the Very Vanilla because I think it's going to be really, really stark if I maybe too much of a contrast with the dark colors if I use the white. All right. So this is the famed and festive stamp set. It's only available in December. I love it because it's got some really, really great sayings. And I think I'm going to use, ah, I'll do one in each because I can't decide which one I like because they are all so lovely. And, oh, look, they're all sticking to me. Pine cones wouldn't stick, but these things are. Okay, I'm going to take these two. Love the script on this. That is another keeper for my Christmas box. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that on there. So let's get this guy out of the way. Get that out of the way and get stamping. So I'm going to do one in each color. And you are going to let me know which one you like best. Okay? So let's give this a whirl. And let's see if I can... Oh, that's okay. That looks good. Very nice. Very nice. 
actually, uh, let's just leave that open because I can't seem to close it at the moment. And let's try the green, okay. And let's see what we're going to choose. Oh, it's gonna be a tough choice. So I'm gonna put the colors in. And I want you, so there you go, let's take a look. That's very green. That's the red. I'm not sure what color I, I'm going to use. How about you comment and then we'll go with that. And we're going to punch it out. So I'm not sure which one I want to use. Okay, tis the season. Let's try and get it fit in. Oh, look at that. It just fits in the punch. Beautiful. I love punches. Maybe move it over a bit. I love punches. And we'll do that for this one. Not sure. I kind of like them both. Uh, okay. Lynn says we should use the green. Okay, and then let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, everybody seems to like the green. Let's go with the green. There we go. That kind of gives a good contrast between that. All right. Apparently, I can't close out that, that ink either. And let's see what ribbon we have to go with it. It got different kinds. Let's see. Go with the ribbons. And let's see what we got. Uh, the ribbon box. Hey, look, Evening Evergreen. Now maybe I can use two ribbons. Oh, always love the sparkly ribbon. Okay, love the sparkly ribbon. Let's use two ribbons. I'm going to kind of tone this down, the sparkly, with the sparkly ribbon. going to use two ribbons. Why not? Let's go. Let's go wild. Come on, it's a, it's coming to the December and we need to go a little wild. So I'm gonna cut that on an angle to give it some design, make them different lengths. Oh, that one's all frayed. All right, let's see how the ribbon is going to go. Are we going to go across or up and down or always ways to, to do that. Okay. Hey, let's go up and down like that. Actually, I got more ribbons, so I can kind of... I'm going to do that like that. Have it peeking out one side, and then the other ribbon I'm going to add and place on the other side. Okay, so just going to take that down. So I want to make sure it's well taped. Hi, Willow! Uh-oh! Oh, no! The cat is coming for my ribbon again. Willow. Whew. I think I scared her away. The cat was coming to steal my ribbon. All right. Put that on the other side. There we go. All right. So this could be a portrait card, actually the ribbon is really taking up a lot of space. Oh, this is turning out lovely and it really kind of shows off the technique we've done here. Oh, this is coming together. So sometimes I, I, I come on on a takeaway Tuesday and the card is in my head and it's not totally created. So I want to show you that I don't always go from um, something I've already created. This was actually in my mind and it's turning out better than I thought it would. So let's get our dimensionals because I got a heavy amount of ribbon there. Don't be afraid to use more than one diff different type of ribbon. Okay. It really adds something. It's very, very cool. Oh, look at that. I'm going to pop that right in the middle and let us create our card base. Oh, this looks great. I'm just so excited. I wasn't sure about this color combination either, but it's turning out to be absolutely, I'm loving this. Wow. OK. 
Okay. Look at that. Very simple. Very simple. And ta-da! It's done. You know what? Wow. Look at that. Simple heat embossing with clear powder on a dark cardstock accented with ribbons. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That turned out absolutely stunning. I don't know about you, but I love it. Anyways, I hope you're going to give this a try. Grab some clear embossing powder and give this a try on a darker cardstock that you, you know, even grab the ones you think don't go together. I didn't think these go together, but I'm loving this. Ooh, maybe it needs some gems. Do I have gems? Oh, dang, nabbit. I left my gems somewhere. Oh, well, I will add some gems to that. Anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope you're going to give this a try. Um, don't forget, link above, shop with me, join my newsletter, and uh, I will see you next time on Takeaway Tuesday when we will be making packages. I will post ahead of time the items that you're going to need. All right?